One of the great assets of the Wesleyan Church are the partnerships of local Wesleyan churches and districts and Wesleyan educational institutions and the national church around the world. Your church is a part of God's incredible story. Thank you. Now, the district superintendent really was one of my greatest encouragers. He was so fascinated with what God was doing in my life and he allowed me the opportunity to just grow into what God wanted me to be. The, the district is very helpful and involved in the life of the church. Our district has been very proactive in planting churches and so we have felt a great support uh, from being a part of that larger network, from people being behind us, encouraging us. They provide us with uh, training in, in all the different departments that we have, children ministry, youth ministry, women ministry. The district gave me opportunity to serve at the local level with one of our church plants. The district appointed me as a pastor at a very small rural church that had been a part of a circuit. And it was like, okay, Lord, what are we gonna do uh, with so many deficits? And what type of people were going to wanna come to church that didn't have a bathroom? Probably would've been really hard to uh, do full-time ministry without the district and the Wesleyan Church. But as we put a fresh coat of paint on the church and as we begin to expand and put in running water, people begin to see that, wow, our town has a church. And when I went back to be licensed, um, it was the district superintendent who allowed for me to understand that God was doing something special and unique, not just in my life, but in the life of the church. Wesleyan Education is preparing godly men and women to spread the hope of Jesus to all cultures. At about the age of 40, I decided to take a few flame classes. And after taking one class, I knew in my heart that God was calling me to go all the way through to ordination. As I connected with, with Kingswood, I realized that an education, a degree, would present a whole different um, accountability of my, my spiritual walk. So I went to one of the flame classes, and what I learned there was that their desire was that I would know what God wanted to do in my life. And it was at uh, a Wesleyan youth camp um, that that flame was kind of fanned and uh, I began to understand and really more commit further to that call and become a pastor. By listening to your needs and the needs of our culture, the General Church is able to provide tools and resources that enable effective ministry to the neighborhoods and communities that we serve. We felt really burdened for the country of Haiti and we wanted to create a two-way partnership where we're learning from them, we're helping them communicate Christ in their context, in their community, and they are doing the same for us. And I think having a larger body is going to be so beneficial for the connectedness, um, uh, working together, having a voice, if you will, that can speak on your behalf and to fight battles of which you don't have to, it frees me then to focus locally on my own congregation. Our desire was to build a uh, district center and, and church in Cuba. The great challenge we had was how to transfer funds from the general treasurer's office to the church account in Cuba we've been able to partner in a global sense with what God is doing in Cuba. And it's so important for us to be a part of this larger family because um, as we discovered, you can't exactly send money yourself to Cuba. Uh, that is somewhat frowned upon. That is where the General Treasurer's Office uh, worked diligently for three months so that the 50-year-old embargo that it, that it made it very difficult to transfer these funds uh, was actually found a legal path and those transfers have been going now on a regular basis. The Wesleyan Church received the permit to build one of the first, if not the first, church building in Cuba after more than a half century. When you're the body of Christ, size is, to me, irrelevant. You're a big deal. 
it seemed like we were isolated, we were an island on our own because we were in Nowheresville. But as we supported the Wesleyan Church with our finances and with our prayerful support, we began to see how we, even though we were small and tiny, we were part of a broader movement. God has taken me from the penthouse to the prison cell to the parole board and then to the pastor. A lot of the people that attend our church are people that make minimum wage or sometimes even less. And yet they've learned how important it is to give and doesn't feel like a burden at all. All the contrary, they feel it's a joy and it's a blessing to be able to give, and especially knowing that what they are giving is going to enhance the kingdom of God. It's just so beautiful to be a part of that larger mosaic of God's grace in the world.